different. But it looks different. It looks odd. No, it looks. It, the collar is what collar gives me a hard fine, time. Yeah. It gives me a hard time every time, so we'll just let it be. Yep. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. You're not going to believe this, but our weather is like summertime. Well, summertime. Yeah. I could yeah. sing the song, but I'm not going to. <laughs> It was 78 degrees today, and our summers are usually that warm. Is what Normally we around here it's in uh, the mid, low to mid 50s this time of year. Yeah, it would be very cold. It's supposed to chill a little bit, not tomorrow, but I think Monday and Tuesday, I think it's supposed to be a little cool on Wednesday. It's supposed mid 60s. To, and then it's supposed to start to warm up again for the weekend. Mm -hmm. We could have gone camping. Yeah, we could have. But we didn't. We could have rode the bike to breakfast or to I lunch, know. too. We could have, but I, we didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to put my hair into the helmet, even though my hair has gone straight. It used to be curly in the front. It's not curly anymore. My hair has lost all its curl. I'm back to where I was when I was little, when I was... Did you say who you were? Yeah, I did. I said oh, I was okay. Nona Grace, and I was from Western New York. I did okay. say that. See, it's so automatic <clears throat> that you don't even hear it anymore. I don't even hear it anymore, yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took you out to eat today. We went to a New, New Beginnings, Beginnings restaurant, and so I'll take you. You want to go out to eat now? You can go out to eat with us. I didn't show you my food, but I thought of it after I had it all gone. I had the shrimp and French fries, and Jim had what you have. You had uh, eggs, half half pound meat patty with two sunny side up eggs. And he brought home, and we brought home the bread and the potatoes the for me. Whole, fri whole <laughs> fries and rye bread for you. Yeah, because I'll eat it. And then you had French onion soup, yep, and I, I, I ate French the crouton. So if somebody's getting fat, it's because I'm eating all the carbs, and I'm I try not to but mm, all right eat them i can take i told him i could taste the salt you'll you'll see when i get in the restaurant i even ask him can you smell any food because i can't smell anything so like when you leave the the restaurant a lot of times you probably smell like the restaurant well i wouldn't know so let's just go to that video and you can go out to eat with us well let's go out to eat i'm going to take you with me we're going to go out to eat together Mr. Jim and I. Okay, off we go. No, where we're at? Where are we at? We're at Sugar Grove, Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove. And we're in New, New Beginnings. Restaurant. Good yes. food. Good food. Friendly waitresses. Yep. Let me get a picture of the front of the building. This is where we're at, New Beginnings. Oh, they've got paintings on the windows. But this is where we're at. Whoops, I'm on the wrong side of the, of the leaves. And the racetrack thing is what, state line? State line. State line. Thank you. I'm going to show the racetrack stuff. Can you smell food? I don't smell yep, anything. I smell food. I don't smell anything. <laughs> It's truly really sad. I was gonna show the bathrooms. I will show the bathrooms when I'm away. I'm gonna have to see. And and this way, I see the the floor that they have. I'm gonna go in there and do the thing now. Might as well. Ooh, the bathroom floor is beautiful in here. Pretty little bathroom. It's got pretty tile on the wall. Yeah. And I like the floor, actually. The floor looks like it could be a wall. I called at 10 o'clock to warn them we were coming. Yeah. And they don't know that I figured then they could get it all set up and everything. Right. They Not had no day. clue. They did that last time we came, too. Oh, there's a cute little mirror back here. Mirror section over in here. Wow. This is a cute little bathroom. You're going to be in the video too. Get your, yeah, you can stick your tongue out if you like. Wow, well, they've got us in a different room. Look at this. All by ourselves. This is kind of nifty. 
And we're all leaving. And we had a great meal. Yes. And there's a turkey. I didn't see the turkey there. Please wait to be seated. We've already eaten. I'm off this way. And remember, Tuesday is You parked out there on the street? Uh, we're going to see, see that bull over there? Turn right, no turn signal. Yeah? Yep. Off they go. Well, we're back home. And a package came for me. Mr. Jim's opening the door. And he brought home leftovers. Okay, come on out. Let's go potty. I don't know what now. Um, I ground up the one pile of leaves up behind the barn, but. Yeah, those are done. I saw you raking up more. Yeah. There's lots of piles out there. I oh, hope yeah. We have nice weather long enough for you to get them all ground. Otherwise, yeah. they're going to make the grass die underneath those piles. Yeah, they'll probably. be all right. Well, they're pretty thick and pretty high. There are yeah. a lot of piles. But that's in the garden area, so that it doesn't really it doesn't matter, matter at that point. You know what I was thinking? There was I was watching Patera today, and she was saying about putting her dog's clumpy fur around the fence area the to keep predators coast, yeah. out. I was thinking I should probably get some hair from Jessica, even though I used to cut hair. But I could have done it then. But Jessica's still cutting hair. I could get some hair and put it around the garden, and maybe the deer will leave my sunflowers alone this hmm. next year. Maybe. Try, or just put it around the plant itself so it's not really all over the, because I don't want to go the whole perimeter of the garden. Yeah. It's kind of <clears throat> ishy. But the human hair, they say, is supposed to be a deterrent for wild animals. So we'll give it a try and see what it does next year. I'm so looking for spring. <laughs> <laughs> spring and summer yep. so much I want to do and it's now we're going into winter and I but feel, there's so much I still want to do this uh, fall so I know I'm glad we have this good I'm weather glad we have this good weather too and I hope that we have good weather all the way through it would be nice if we had it all the way through December and all I don't care if we have a white Christmas a lot of people want white Christmases I could care less I it's chilly enough you don't need any when you get frost get up early enough and you can see some frost and that's enough white for me people in the snow country are, are a whole lot different on white christmas than those who are not i know when you watch the movies that they're in the warm warm places where they don't have any snow i know emily always says i don't know what it would be like to have no no snow at christmas well i would like it i don't they you see them going trick-or-treating at Halloween. Now we're talking Halloween. <laughs> From Christmas <laughs> backwards to Halloween. Well, you see them out in their little costumes where our kids are all bundled up in coats and their costume hopefully fits over top of their coat. Or their coat is covering their costume. They don't you they're don't not see the they're, you don't see the anymore. costume at all. So like we used to dress up by like bums and then you didn't have to worry about whether they saw your costume or not because it was just bib over holes over a nice heavy jacket so you looked like a fat person anyways. <laughs> yeah. And it was and you you just you didn't have you could have a hobo stick. I don't know if you ever were on the the oh this video is getting too long. <laughs> Yeah, uh, all over. Yeah, it was all over the place. Well, we, we'll say goodbye, and <laughs> I hope you had something to drink, because it was way longer than I anticipated. Well, we'll talk to you again another day. Bye-bye.